Hello, I'm Steve Hoyle, the author of Real Account Planning, and in this short video tutorial, I'd just like to try and summarise the whole of the ghost planning process. Ghost is a standard planning process. We've just adapted it for the needs of account planning, real account planning, because it looks at where are we today, where are we trying to get to? How are we going to get there? Simple process at the heart of all good planning processes. Situation analysis describes the relationship that we really have today. And remember, we look at typically three perspectives. Firstly, do we really understand the client business? What's important to them? What keeps their senior execs awake at night? Because this is going to enable us to understand what's important to them, what's going to drive their relationships, drive their purchasing decisions. Secondly, we look at the organisation. We call it the playing field, but who are the people involved? Who has the power? Who has the influence? How do they feel about us? Can we get access to them? Vitally important and probably the first port of call for many sales managers and, and sales directors. Thirdly, Good account managers tend to, to think about the competition because in an account plan we're constantly trying to just be that one step ahead of all of our competitors. But put yourself in the shoes of the account managers from your competition. Who would you then see as your supporters? What would you be trying to achieve? What would your goals and objectives and strategies and tactics be? It's normally a good idea to try and summarise all this analysis using something like a SWOT analysis or a SWOT plus tool or something like that. But it's crucial that we do this analysis. It may be the drier part of planning, but it gives us a firm foundation to think about where do we want to go in the future and be realistic. The future we express in terms of goals and objectives. The goal is what goes on the T-shirt. It's broad, it's descriptive, it's inspiring and it's memorable. Objectives may not be memorable, but they provide clarity. So remember, they're going to be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant to the long-term goal and time-scaled. But that gives us absolute clarity to make sure that our thinking process is clear and we can communicate clearly and set the right expectations with others who are providing us with resources or our boss or whatever. In terms of how we get there, we talk about strategy and tactics. Strategy is what's the broad direction, the broad approach we're going to take. And we do this because then we can have choice. Account planning is all about giving yourself choice. Do I do this or do I do that? And we'd encourage vigorous debate around the different strategies. But once we've decided on strategies, then making sure that we put executable actions in place. And that's the job of tactics, who have an owner, with an action and a time scale, maybe a budget, maybe an outcome as well. That's account planning. Where are we now? Where do we want to get to? How are we going to get there? Uh, there are many great examples of account plans out there. There's also lots of examples of people who do a good job of analysis, but then don't follow it through with any action. Uh, there are people who do a great job of the kind of the vision of where we want to get to, but it may not be grounded in, in a good analysis and again may not be backed up with, with good strategy and tactics. And there are very many plans out there which are action orientated and the result of brainstorming around what, do we, what can we do, what can we do, um, which, is, which is great. But unless we actually ground in reality and unless we have a real sense of where we're trying to get to, then the danger is we just come up with good ideas which may take us down a cul-de-sac. Where are we now? Where do we want to get to? How are we going to get there? Situation analysis, goals and objectives, strategy and tactics. That's the simple process that many people find really useful to put them in control of their business rather than their business being in control of them. This has been the final video tutorial in this series. I hope uh, that you found it useful, that you found the whole series useful. Clearly I would urge you to look into the book uh, or go to the website where you can find more resources, articles, case studies, case examples. You can download the first chapter of the book for free or you can also go to Amazon and you can actually buy the book. <laughs>